all right welcome back to another video uh today is a little bit different uh i've got family here a lot of a lot of kids uh five kids between 10 to 15 so we needed to keep them entertained and the best way to do that was to set my uh, ps5 up downstairs on the big screen tv and um uh, and that worked that that kept them pretty entertained for a while but uh, it did mean that i couldn't make my usual video not so much because you know it was down there just kick them off just, i normally play uh on a desk setup you know with uh, a, a gaming monitor a good headset that kind of thing but i thought you know what if i can't do my mouse and keyboard video because that's just a bit you know a bit too difficult downstairs on a big screen tv i thought you know what there's a lot of noise going on it's on a big screen tv no headset this is how a lot of people play right you know, kids get their, their time after school with maybe siblings screaming at them, parents telling them to bloody get off the, get off the game! Can't you just save it? You know, that kind of stuff. Or, um, yeah, people just getting home from, uh, uh, just finishing work. Want to play a couple of games, yeah. Got kids around, got people wanting them to do, you know, do stuff. So this is, this is how a lot of people actually play. I thought, well... You know, how will, I, how will I go, you know, with all these distractions? You know, can't hear the game properly. There's no 3D audio. You know, no, no headset. So I figured I'd just jump on, play a couple of games, and uh, and see what happened. Um, it was loud around me. There was a lot of distractions. And I did have, you know, I was talking to people while I was playing as well. But um, that's all right. It was, you know, just different to see how it goes not under my normal circumstances so i recorded this and now i'm just doing the voiceover normally i just i just talk while i while i'm playing i just record it all in uh in one go and just cut out what i don't want but today i just recorded it copied it over to my laptop and now i'm just doing the voiceover so i figured while we we're watching some gameplay we'd have a bit of a chat about what we do and don't want for modern warfare 2 and uh and warzone 2 you know that's coming up that's the whole point of this is to learn mouse and keyboard before they release and um hopefully be able to you know play at a, a reasonably acceptable level when uh when they come out on mouse and keyboard but definitely something i'm looking forward to the coming out is the dmz mode i'm really looking forward to that i'm looking forward to seeing how they do it how in depth it is i hope it's a lot more in depth than hazard zone was obviously we don't want it to be in depth uh, or as in depth as uh tarkov is that's if you want that level of detail you play a game specifically made for that not a mode of a different game you know so hopefully there's good middle ground admittedly it probably would be closer to hazard zone than, than tarkov but hopefully there's good middle ground there somewhere the rumor at this stage is it's going to be part of the Modern Warfare 2 bundle. So behind a paywall, you have to pay to be able to play it. And I don't think that's going to be particularly good for the lifespan of the DMZ mode. So that does concern me a bit. We'll just have to see though, because... I mean, the majority of people that, that actually pay for the game, they, they pay for it to play typical 6v6 multiplayer to get sweaty on shipment to do the camo grind uh, a lot of people now actually do buy it solely as a way of ranking up guns quickly for modern warfare but again they're doing that on shipment and shoot house you know get get in there get as many kills as you can get don't care about your kd not that i'm saying people should care about their kd but you know they don't care about performance they just care about slaying and ranking up that gun as fast as possible for warzone so that's not going to encourage people to play DMZ, you know? So we'll have to see what happens with that. The mode itself, I, I do think, has a lot of promise. Um, there's been mentioned about 10 or 12 contracts that you can actually get up to while you're in there, which don't necessarily seem to be other player-based or, you know, PvP-based, which is good because there should be a lot to get up to that is PvE. Um, 
Uh, I don't know how they're going to work. Like, I don't know if it'll be you accept these contracts and your kind of, you know, base of operations or if there's like a big communal social area um, before you load in or how, you know, how they'll design that. So I don't know if you'll accept contracts there or they'll just be like war zone contracts where you go in. Um, probably won't be as detailed mini-map, but you never know. And maybe you just find them and pick them up and and get up to them along the way. We, we just don't know these things, but a lot of things to get up to, I think will be very, very good for the mode. For those that are playing it, it should really extend the life um, span of it. But these are obviously details that we'll just have to find out along the way. That was a cheeky little win there, which was good. I didn't actually realize I was doing so well there. And then I got up to that right tech and I was raging. I was trying not to swear, surrounded by kids. I think I was successful. I don't think I let any bombs drop, but, you know, I was, I was just doing my best not to rage while that right tick was just getting me killed over and over. Um, and here we are in broadcast. I never really rated broadcast as a map, but I suppose for gun game, it doesn't play too bad, you know. But then there's, there's Modern Warfare itself, which my big thing for Modern Warfare uh, 2 is... Uh, footstep audio, I want it to be quieter than it is in Modern Warfare 2019. I want it to be louder than it is in Vanguard. In fact, I'd rather it was closer to the volume of Modern Warfare 2019 than to the volume of Vanguard. Vanguard, people run up behind you and bitch slap you and you don't hear a damn thing. Um, whereas Modern Warfare uh, 2019 is too loud, it discourages people from running around because they'll just shoot you as soon as you come through the door because they heard you running. Um, there's gotta, there's gotta be a good middle ground on that. That really is the big thing I want to see for Modern Warfare 29, uh, sorry, Modern Warfare 2. Um, I want the camo challenges, uh, they're, they're gonna put mounted and crouch kills back in. Crouch kills, I'd love to see them get rid of that. I would love to see them get rid of the crouch kills. The mounted kills aren't as bad. Long shots, I want them to not have anywhere near as many. Long shots are so painful. They're always the ones that I end up left with. All right, I've done everything else and I've still got three quarters of the damn long shots left. So it'd be nice if they toned down on the long shots a little bit. But, you know, if they leave it in there, fair enough. I'm all right with that. Um, I would love, this is just a personal one, but I would love for them to stay with the three kills without dying rather than the bloodthirsties just because to be honest like i'm not the most amazing cod player i can't get bloodthirsties with every shitty bloody sniper rifle and marksman rifle that you know you have to hit people three times because you know i'm waiting for it to buff i tell you what, i got the k98 and the mark ii done the day before they buffed them man i nearly smashed my console that day I was so angry. But that's alright. I got them done. I did get them done. Um, so that's just a personal one. I'd like to see it like that. But who knows. Um, I guess I'll just have to see what the challenges are. And whether or not I think it would drive me completely insane. Or only most of the way there to try and go for it in Modern Warfare 2. But then Warzone itself. Uh, Warzone 2. I don't know. The, the biggest change I would love to see to Warzone is never going to happen. They're never going to get rid of um, loadouts. Because it's their entire... Basically, it's basically their business model. Is you take in your own gun, give us money to make this gun look the cool skin way that you want it to look. Whereas, how are they going to do that? You know, how are they going to sell an MP5 skin if you don't know if you're going to get an MP5 in ground loot? You know, if all they if all they have is, like, blueprints on the floor. You know, RNG. Like, not skin blueprints, but, like, low, uh, attachment blueprints. You know. That's what I would like. That's how I would like Warzone 2 to be played. But they won't do it, because it just won't make the same amount of money. It won't make a billion dollars a year, or however whatever absurd amount of money it currently makes. I mean, I know there's still character skins, but... I don't know, I just... I don't I don't think they would 
expect that it would make anywhere near as much money. And to be honest, I wouldn't expect it to make anywhere near as much money either if they got rid of loadout. So I don't think they're going anywhere. But that would honestly be the biggest thing that would... Like, be a really big draw card. Make me super hyped about Warzone 2. But, aside from that, I want a really, really clean map. Like, in, in my mind, if a dance was a clean map, right? You know, everything was... Like, it looked like this, right? So you've got vehicles, you've got your containers, you've got your buildings. Around the edges here, yeah, there's some, some shrubbery and whatnot. But for the most part... If people were peeking behind something, you had a good chance of seeing them, right? Whereas Caldera... Caldera is not a clean map. Caldera is messy AF. And I do not like it. Like, a lot of people don't like Caldera. But to me, that's why, right? Um, they've changed the lighting. They've, they've improved it as much as they can. But I, t I think the map is too cluttered with stuff that people can peek and you'll never, ever spot them. But you can be looking straight at them and you'll never see them. Uh, the new map, um, I can't even remember the name of it off the top of my head right now. I played it a couple of times. I think that is, for the most part, a pretty clean map. I think they've done a good job with that. And I don't care about theme, I don't care about um, when it's set, anything like that for Warzone 2. I just want the map to be clean. Alright. No excessive clutter, no excessive people can literally hide in a bush and and jump out and there was zero chance you were ever gonna spot them there. I don't want any of that. So that's my that's my biggest hope, is that it's just a straight out clean map. But I don't know, there's so much more information that's going to come out. There's so many leaks out there. There are a ton of videos. That's why uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail about, you know, perks that are being leaked and all that stuff because so many people are, are covering it. You know, I, I just like sharing thoughts. Unfortunately, I didn't get uh, uh, two wins in a row there. I, got, I didn't do too bad. 16th. Uh, sorry, 16 kills. I got second. Um... So yeah, hopefully tomorrow I will be back with my normal style video doing some mouse and keyboard play. But yeah, if you're liking the videos, make sure to sub and drop a like. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.